yeah, I'm sorry I hated you, but I love you now. What's up, perfume addicts? This is Anna Absolute. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. So, <laughs> my my love, one of my first friends here on YouTube, um, Paulina Shar, tagged me in a video two months ago and I'm just getting to it. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm here now and I'm gonna do the tag and I love you. Guys, subscribe to her channel. Y'all probably already subscribed because Paulina has blown up way faster than me, but that's all right. She's been putting in the work, been pumping out videos like a beast, and I'm very proud of her. So anyways, guys, the tag video is fragrances that I hate, but now I love. And I think we all can relate that we've done so we, as in us perfume addicts, have done so much blind buying that we have a bottle for so long that we just end up spraying it and understanding it and loving it because it was there and we gave it many, many chances. I have seven on my list and stay tuned to the end because I am gonna tag about seven people and I hope you guys really do this tag. I know I don't do everyone's tags and that's probably why people stop tagging me and make me feel left out, but please do the tag. Please consider doing it. That would be great. Anyways, guys, so at number one, this is obviously in no particular order on which I hated more or not. It's just, this is the first one I'm pulling up. Anyway, so um, this is Dancing Roses by Victor and Rolf. Okay, I first sprayed this and was just unamazed and so many people loved it. So I feel like when people hype it up so much and you get it and it's not like a million dollars up your nose, you get kind of disappointed. This was literally in my um, closet for a minute and I didn't touch it. But just over the past um, three weeks, damn, it's already been three weeks. Yeah, for the past three weeks, I've been wearing it a lot and I really love it. Um, it it lasts a pretty long time on me. I would say about eight hours. And um, the cherry in here and the rose, it's like a, it's like candied and sweet and it's just, it's not a projection beast or anything. It's, it's more mellow, but it means you can get away with wearing it anywhere. Yeah. I'm sorry. I hated you, but I love you now. Um, yeah. Dancing Roses by Victor and Rolf. Next, another, um, <laughs> my first impressions are live. And uh, when I go live, I say crazy ass shit. And I can't take it back. And I'm sorry for all the feelings that I hurt when I said I hated this. Um, Mac Velvet Teddy. I actually really love it and enjoy it. It's a dry tobacco and honey fragrance. Um, it lasts forever and it projects pretty well too. I, it is compared to Tobacco Vinny a lot, and I would say it is an affordable dupe. Not like a perfect match or anything, but definitely um, if you need a, tobacco, a sweet tobacco fix and you can't afford Tobacco Vinny, this is a good one for you, but I still prefer Tobacco Vinny more. Mm, it's good, and I really do love it now, and I'm sorry I hated you. I'm sorry I hated you. <laughs> Alien Essence Absolute. Yes, guys, I hated it at first. I lit, I hate, I wanna wear this. I have so many fragrances on me. Mm. I hated this at first. Why? Because I sprayed it and literally was like, it's basically alien with a little vanilla. I didn't give it a chance. And I, I put it away for a minute. And I was like, why? It just smells just like alien. I don't need it. Anyways, I sprayed myself thoroughly and I let it actually dry down on my body. And oh my God, <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just like a spicy vanilla with that, that same alien jasmine. It's beautiful and I, I'm glad I kept wearing it instead of spray it once and chuck it out the window because this is one of my favorites right now, favorites. And I don't know when it will not be my one of my favorites, but I do love this one a lot. Alien Essence Absolute. Mine for life. I have a backup bottle and I almost bought a refillable from one of my friends too. 
but I did it. Okay, next. Um, I bought this because of Demi Rawling. Club de Nuit Intense by Armoff because um, Demi said it was a dupe for Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. And I didn't want to, and in my, in the beginning of my fragrance journey, I did not want to spend over $50 for a perfume period. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> so I bought this and I, I smelt it and I was like, cigarettes, mm. chocolate rose and cigarettes. I don't know what notes in here smell like cigarettes, but I still do smell that cigarette smell, but I love it now. <laughs> I like love it so much. This just smells like a party to me. Everyone thinks it's really classy and everything like that. This smells like a party. So this is like a rose and spices fragrance with vanilla and amber. It's very deep and smoky. Like I said, it smells like cigarettes to me. I don't know why I said chocolate, so X out, there's no chocolate in here. But yeah, um, mature, definitely mature. You gotta be like of partying age to really enjoy this fragrance. Anyways, next. So uh, this is, I literally hated this fragrance when I first sprayed it. And that is Angel Muse by Mugler. I sprayed it and literally my face was like, ow, I felt like I got punched in my face. I felt like everyone had lied to me. I felt betrayed because this, my nose could not handle the first spray of this. It was too real, it was too intense, but now I cannot get enough of it. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it. This is like a hazelnut chocolate patchouli, okay? Um, it's more dusty than it is creamy and the patchouli is very heavy on and on the on the way dry down it reminds me of the dry down of La Via Belle like the note the patchouli I think that's in both of them is really prominent to me so I love this I love this literally I'm so happy it's cold one reason I'm happy one reason I'm happy it's cold so that I can wear this because I was not trying to choke people out in the summer with this one, but, oh God. Beast, projects, lasts forever, bomb. Mmm, hazelnut chocolate patchouli, dusty. Oh, mm, I love this one, okay. Yeah, I hated it, hated, hated it at first. Okay, and here's one I really truly hate, hated, because I tested it in Sephora and never looked back. I tested this in Sephora Dior Addict months, last year around this time. And I only now bought this, what, uh, two months ago? Because I re-smelled it at Ulta and I I don't know if my palette opened up or whatever because my nose has been all around the world now. Not really, I don't know. I've, I've smelled a lot of fragrances now, but anyways, at first, when I first sprayed this, it just like, hurt my nose it just hurt it like all i could smell was spice spice that's it <sighs> and i put it back and i was like what is everyone talking about and i left it there and but then i resprayed it at ulta um over the summer i was like what was i thinking it's beautiful um what i get from this is jasmine sandalwood and tonka bean and vanilla the tonka bean in here is spicy to me i love it i love it i love it i love it and it projects and it's a beast and it's super sexy okay it's good and i do like it a lot i'd like to tag a few people and i hope that whoever's watching you guys also subscribe to their channels i'm gonna list them down below um, I want to tag my homie um, Bubba at Scented Waters and I'd like to tag Ollie's mom. I'm going to put her information down below. She's amazing. I want to tag um, my homie Manahil. Her info will be down below. Oh, I want to tag Spicy Looks. If you guys have already done this tag, I know Paulina started this two months ago. I don't know if anyone had did the tag, but um, obviously you don't have to do it twice, but and sorry that I didn't know that, yeah. I also wanna tag Stephanie Tomeo. I'm gonna to link her information down below 
And I want to tag Coco Pebs. Do this tag, por favor. Please do the tag video. And um, all my subscribers, please check out their channel. See if you guys like them. Subscribe to them because they're my friends and they're pretty cool.